What's up you guys? If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're not new, welcome back. I'm super, super pumped and super excited for this video. Um, this is my everyday makeup face routine video. Um, this is for my days when I'm on the go. I'm super tired and I have to do something really quick because I look exhausted and pale and just a mess. This is my I woke up like this super flawless face tutorial and I hope you all like it. And if you want to see how I got this beautiful, glowy, dewy face beat, then just keep watching. I'm sorry, I just woke up, so I have the weirdest sound right now. My voice is just so weird. I'm just going to put my little headband on and try to prevent any hairs from coming forth. I'm wearing my comfy sweater. It's kind of like a gloomy day out first of all let me just talk about how happy i am right now that i have my own filming space my own filming room not only will this be a filming room to me i know this is personal you guys know i talk about my faith a lot um you know i've been struggling i've been having one of those um moments in my life where i'm going through some stuff okay my faith has been definitely shaky lately um i felt like it was because of lack of prayer when you stop praying that things start to crumble down when i stop praying guys i just i lose myself i lose it completely i don't feel like me i don't know if that's just me but now that i have this room i'm so happy because this is also going to be a prayer room as well i've felt like i've needed one since forever i feel like yeah you can pray in your room or stuff but sometimes my husband is there and you don't feel the same vibe as if you have a room that's dedicated i want to move the bed that i have here maybe in a closet or something that way i can put two chairs and i can use that to pray here um i'm really excited i'm at a point right now where i'm just super super excited super super happy for what's to come and i feel really good right now okay so enough talking i've been talking for like three minutes so this video today is going to be my quick and easy five minute get ready with me um five to ten minutes this is for the girls the ladies that are always on the go the moms that are on the go the ladies that work the ladies fellows whatever and you don't feel like wearing a full face beat this is for you sometimes it's too early sometimes i have to do things with liam and i have to go to work and i'm super late i'm actually super late right now i shouldn't be filming so first things first before anything we're going to start by applying a moisturizer to our skin i'm going to apply the l'oreal hydrogenous this is my favorite daily moisturizer it's super hydrating it feels so lovely on the skin i've been obsessed with this moisturizer since forever the key to having fresh looking skin is taking care of it moisturizing it nice and hydrated skin if you have skin that's really dry especially in this area here of philly it's really really cold so sometimes some of our skins tend to get a little bit more drier than usual i definitely recommend this lotion so i just found this little product here this is a soothing facial mist with aloe and cucumber this is for all skin types an advanced formula it says paraben free color free by bolero beverly hills i found it at dollar tree and this is only a dollar again i i give this disclaimer every time i buy products that just might not work for everybody my skin is not as sensitive so i can buy these things and this will not give me an allergic reaction if you do have sensitive skin i do suggest doing like a patch test on an area of your skin if you feel like it's getting irritated then don't use it on the rest of your face but this is only a dollar and this is my favorite thing to just spray on my face after i get out of the shower spray on my face if i'm feeling like i need a little bit of more refreshment this is just it i love this right now like i just bought it and it's like down here you can't see it really because of the bubbles but it's like down here i've been using this non-stop so and i'm talking like I said, I talk too much. Mm. And it smells so yummy. I love the smell. Of course, you gotta prime your skin. If you don't prime your skin, then your makeup is not gonna last and your skin is gonna look a little bit bad. So 
I'm gonna talk to you guys about these primers that I got. Um, I wanted to try a illuminating face primer for a really long time and I ran out of primer so I thought I was just going to buy a primer and see which one worked best for me. But first I bought this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Luminous Primer Stick and unfortunately I'm gonna have to say that I'm not a fan of this. This made my skin feel even more dry. I have like dry to combination skin, but it's more on the drier side and this made my skin feel really, really rough and it felt really weird. Like it was dry and it was oily. It felt kind of like chalky on my skin. I don't know why. So I was just like, oh man, like I wanted to try illuminating face primer. What am I gonna do? Like. And I had just bought this one and I had got paid and let's be real, I used all my money. I didn't have anything so I had to wait to get paid again. And when I got paid again, I went to Marshalls. This was actually, I think it was three, four dollars at Walmart and I'm not a fan of this, okay? This just, this is a big no, I will not be buying this anymore for me. Maybe on oily skin types, I don't know because it's kind of oily too. It just feels like I rubbed oil all over my face and like it feels dry i don't know how to explain it that's just how my experience went with it so i went to marshall's the second time i got paid and i found this elf illuminating face primer and i thought to myself this is god because i've been looking for an illuminating face primer and the one i bought sucked so hopefully fingers crossed this was the one for me it was 2.99 at marshall's and i had to get it so i got it i already used this and i love it it feels really soft really moisturizing really velvety and it's really luminous like in the morning i like to have that luminous look on my skin i like to look dewy and shiny and yes we are going to be using our fingers today you see how illuminating this face primer is though Look at how glowy my skin looks. I definitely recommend this one. It feels so soft. It feels velvety on the skin and it doesn't feel like the other illuminating primer that I tried by Wet n Wild. The next product I'm gonna talk about is that this hard candy CC cream that I found at Dollar Tree, guys. And I've been looking for a CC cream, a BB cream for a super, super long time. And I've been stuck using the Mary Kay foundation. Y'all know that's my holy girl. I use it nonstop. And I've been using this lately and I'm obsessed with it. At first I had a weird vibe from it when I applied it and I didn't feel 100% confident in this. Then I started using it and I started working with it on my face and I'm obsessed, okay? The only downside that I saw in Dollar Tree, there was only this shade, which sucks because I feel like there should be more shades at Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's because it's discontinued and they sell it there. This is in the shade light to medium. It has SPF 15 in it and it says it's five in one results. Um, it says color correct skin tone, neutralizes undertone, brightens complexion, evens skin tone and it's oil free. So, no, no, I love, 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 love an oil free, um, foundation or an oil-free face base um because it seeps through all the makeup and it does not look cute so it says it color corrects skin tone by blurring blemishes discolorations and dark spots neutralizes undertone with a unique light reflecting optical pearls brightens complexion with glowing air brushed finished we love that even skin texture for a smooth natural appearance oil free cream moisturizes skin all day without clogging pores this is what it comes in in like a little squeezy bottle i'm just gonna squirt some like this on my hand and we're using our hands to disperse this because i feel like this is the way that it works best for me in my opinion we are just going to rub it against our fingers and it looks thick at first but believe me, when you were working it into your skin, it just feels more softer and more lighter. And I'm going to put this everywhere on my eyes, my forehead. Make sure your hands are clean, guys. Don't forget the neck because if you don't blend your neck, you can definitely see that just gonna take my mirror make sure everything is nice and blended because you can't really see through the screen and it just 
feels so moisturizing on the skin. It looks like I barely have anything on, but I did see that it fixed some discoloration I had going on around my nose, and I love it. A BB cream and CC cream is not meant to be a full coverage foundation. This is meant for the everyday wear, so this is why I like this so much. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. HD um, lifting concealer, and I use this concealer because I like how light it is it's not super full full coverage you know what i mean and that's what i want i don't want anything full early in the morning i want something that's easy to blend something that's easy to work with and this is just it i got this at marshall's too because I, I ran out and i needed a new one this is in fair and i'm just going to blend this in Sometimes I take two fingers to just make it a little bit more easier. And what's left of this concealer, I'll like apply it to where I have like some redness still and some darkness. I'm gonna do the other eye. You can instantly see how it looked like I slept on this side and the other side just looks like I'm a zombie. Really quick, really easy. I know a lot of you have been asking me for a eyebrow tutorial and that is definitely coming really soon. Hopefully this week I can film it. Now that we've applied our concealer, I'm going to take a bit of this Fit Me by Maybelline powder. Not a lot, this is in the shade 10. Not really baking, I'm just setting my whole face, swirling my brush in there. And I'm just going to set my whole face with this. Like I said, we want a quick and easy on the go look. We want it to look like we woke up like this, you know? A fresh waken awaken face beat. I'll usually apply my blush and be out but I'm gonna show you guys two methods so I'm gonna do this method first okay I'm gonna take my Gigi Gorgeous um, duo blush in authentic and pride these are my favorite blushes at the moment I swirl them both together and I just apply them on so this is my everyday routine apply some right here on the tip of my nose right here right here i'm gonna take the brush that i was using to apply my powder and i'm just gonna soften it up a little bit and i love this blush because it's so illuminating as well i love illuminating products i curl my eyelashes apply some mascara very simple i usually apply my lip gloss and be out but i told you i was going to show you two ways of doing your makeup quick and fast this is more of my five minute routine um and it's taking longer video because of how much i'm talking so i usually apply some facial mist some setting sprays and i'll be out the door with this routine but if you want to look a little bit more put together i'm going to show you what else i do I'm going to take my contour kit by Anastasia, swirl my brush in there, and we're just going to apply some a little bit of contour to my cheekbones, a little bit to my forehead, my double chin. As you can see, it's already starting to frame the face a little bit more, and then I'll take my contour brush. For my nose give my nose a little more definition i'll use a little bit of brow gel this is the la colors browy wowy tinted brow gel and i think that this is dark so yeah i'll just apply a little bit of brow product a tiny bit because this is super pigmented
this is to make it look like you tried, you know what I mean? This is if you can have, spare a few, like two, three minutes in your routine in the morning. And I'm going to apply some highlights. So for highlight, I'm gonna take the LA Color Strobing Highlighter. My words have all disappeared because of how much I've used this. I'm not using the Jacqueline one today because again, this is like more of an everyday routine and we're not gonna be pouring her out all the time, like every morning. So with my finger, I'll just apply light pressure and really blend it in. So that's just giving me a really dewy finish. And I'll take it to my brow bone and do the same thing, just blend her in a little. Now you're looking super dewy, super fresh. I'm gonna apply some to the tip of our nose and some on the bridge right here, right here, and over top of our brow right here. I've been doing this ever since I saw Jacqueline Hill do it, and I'm obsessed. I love it now. I'm just gonna hit those inner corners real quick, and that's everything. That's it. Wow, that highlighter is so good. So I'm just going to set my face with a little bit of the facial mist that I put in the beginning. Like I told you guys in my skincare video, um, I've been using the Kula SPF 30, although this um, CC cream has SPF in it. I like to just apply more SPF. The sun gets, I've, there's skin cancers and stuff that you can get from the sun. And we don't, excuse me, and we do not want that. This lip gloss is by LA Colors. This is their glitter gloss in champagne bubbles. And I'll just literally apply this to my lips. I'll fix my hair and I'll be out. Like this is just my everyday face beat. So I definitely have to do my hair today. Like I have to wash it, but I have some of the style that I've done my hair on still. Okay, you guys, this is everything. This is my everyday face beat, five minute to 10 minute face beat routine. Um, I showed you guys obviously what the five minute looked like and what the what kind of five to 10 minutes looks like. Usually I'll do it a lot more faster since I'm not talking, but since I'm talking to you guys and telling you guys step through step, I'm taking a little longer, but believe me, this is like really quick and really fast. I love this routine. I've been doing this so much lately. I love how my skin looks. If I'm having a little bit more time to spare, I'll do the five to 10 minute with the highlight and everything. But if I just want a fresh and clean looking face, I'll just do the five minute one. Like I'll probably be done in less than five minutes. Honestly, I feel like I've mastered this already, but I am obsessed with the primer. You can definitely see the luminosity come through and the highlight, how everything just looks so put together. And I just wanted to share you guys this quick and easy face routine with you guys. Oh my God, my hands. I noticed how gross my hands look. It's because of the foundation that I was using to blend my, with my fingers, but I'll wash that off. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you moms, sisters, brothers, cousins, anyone who is on the go tries this out please tag me um if you use a different cc cream or bb cream tag me let me know what cream you're using i want a new cream i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much thank you and god bless